and welcome back to part two of talking naturally on camera. I'm gonna give you my final five tips on this, so let's get into it. Number one, or could be number six, let's not make this complicated. <laughs> number one, talk through the camera. Imagine somebody behind the camera and you're talking to them. And my advice would be, imagine your ideal client. Make sure you're talking to them. Just look straight through. It's a bit like if you've ever done any martial arts or anything, when you punch, you don't aim for the target, you aim through it. <laughs> Number two, it feels really uncomfortable talking to the camera by yourself in the room. Believe me, I know. That's how I started. And in this episode, I want to demonstrate um, the, the sound difference between using a lav microphone compared to using um, the microphone on your phone. My advice is if it feels too uncomfortable, bring in a friend or a co-worker or a colleague, whatever you like to call them, somebody can stand behind the camera and fire you questions. They could fire you. So how are you solving this problem, Audrey? I don't know who Audrey is, but have somebody actually talk to you behind the camera. It makes a difference. Audrey? <laughs> Number three, be authentic. I know, it's a big ask, and you're probably watching me right now and so, say, easy for you, Andy. You're great on camera. Am I great? Am I? I'm not sure I am, and I always have that self-doubt, and all I have to remember is, I'm just going to be myself. You have to let your personality shine. That's, some of the, that's one of the things which can separate you out from your competition, is your personality. And be comfortable with not knowing it all. Number four, forget the arms, ahs and hesitations, because they only go with practice. I can tell you for one, when I started filming videos, I was like, um, uh, mm. People pick up on it, our clients pick up on it. Now in the editing process you can get rid of it, but really, really don't worry about it because if you don't have some hesitation, some ums and ahs, you will be less authentic. I always think if I'm watching a video and somebody's got some ums and ahs, I just think, great, they're human. So really chill out about it, don't worry about them. And my final tip, number five, practice Practice, practice. I know, Andy, for God's sake, yeah, we all know, practicing makes perfect, but honestly, it really does. I mean, I've lost count amount of videos I've done. If I leave too much of a gap between filming videos, I start getting nervous, I start doubting myself. Practice and consistency. Consistency, not frequency. Consistency, that means you do one a week, one every couple of weeks, keep in the habit. One of the things I do to make sure I'm natural on camera is to batch record. That's my secret weapon. I record five, six, seven, or even sometimes eight videos in one day. I get into then my flow state. So just keep practicing. I promise, promise you, you will get better. Hopefully these things have helped you and I'd love to hear how you're getting on with your filming. Please comment below. I'd love to answer any questions you may have. I'll catch you later.